Yes, definitely. I condemn the these shooting because, as I am a, a practicing Sikh, I I believe in that uh, humanity is more important than anything. That was the message by Guru Nanak Dev that we are good human being before uh, being a Sikh or a Muslim or a Christian or a Hindu. So I am firm believer of that, and I continue to believe that. But this incident has really given a shock to everyone, and even the agencies are taking things more seriously. So things have changed definitely with this incident in New Zealand. Like I'll give you example that entrance to the parliament, uh, anybody could walk in and uh, visit the parliament. But now the stricter uh, procedures are in place. Everyone is being scanned and. Uh, there, there are barriers everywhere. So the things are changing with the changing world. How the things are happening around the world, we are also following the same kind of uh, procedures over here. Everyone is trying to give comfort to the Muslim community over here and making sure that uh, they they don't feel offended by any action. A lot of people are trying to go and console them. Uh, if you look at uh, heaps of flowers being delivered at different mosques, even the Muslim houses are getting bouquets from the people to console them, to show them that they are part of the New Zealand. We are uh, going to have some stricter licensing uh, regime being introduced very soon. Otherwise, it used to be quite common to have a firearm license uh, about quarter of a million people hold uh, licenses to hold firearm, but it is going to change as Prime Minister said in her speech. The police has also been in touch with all the religious places, in particular with the Gurdwaras also. They have provided some security to them also. So obviously everyone has to be vigilant and uh, look after themselves that is most important thing and hopefully nothing happens of this kind again in New Zealand's history. I think uh, Sikhs are always in forefront to help uh, in any situation and this is no different that they came out and started uh, providing langar over there, food over there and obviously they also offered the service if you need we can help in transporting the bodies if you have to uh, give a bath to them or to need anything else the services were offered which and the which were very well appreciated by the muslim community all over that uh, six have always been in forefront and over here also they are providing both moral and physical support I think the main thing is that uh, this incident has brought all the New Zealanders together and united. And the way the things are happening over here, it is really heartening to see. So much so that some of the gangs who are very prevalent in New Zealand, they have come out and said that they will be protecting the mosques on Friday from any threat. And that was the news today that uh, gangs and the police will stand side by side protecting the mosques. I hope that uh, New Zealand will be back on track with a very united front and we will enjoy our uh, democratic ways over here.